<clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Yes. Uh, this week I'll be playing a little game on the Sega 32X, which is a console. It's called Calibri! Calibri! Yeah, the 32X was like an add-on for the Mega Drive that turned it from 16-bit into 32-bit. Um, it was kind of a flop. Easy please. One player, yes. Good, good, good. Bird speed, normal. How about normal? I don't know if that's me or anything else. Okay. I like this menu. Very nice. Um, yeah, so let's start a game and see what exactly this is that we're playing. So this is called Colibri, which is from uh, a word meaning hummingbird. Oh, these these other jerk hummingbirds don't want me to eat from their flowers. Nasty. Um, it's from some language that I don't remember because my efforts have been thwarted today, so this is a backup. Yes, I did intend to play Mr. Nuts 2, but I had a horrendous time of technical issues and was unable to... Whoops! I've been eaten by a frog. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, so someone look up Calibri for me, please. I haven't been able to do my usual due diligence. So this is a game from Ed Annunziata and Nova Trade, the creators of Echo the Dolphin. And where Echo was a dolphin simulator, this is a hummingbird simulator. Although, as we all know, Echo certainly takes a turn as it goes on and becomes a very interesting game. So I'm expecting... Um, I'm expecting more from this game. Um, Danger Mouse's child is a fan of Tinkerbell, so she thinks this looks a lot like the Disney fairy uh, movies. Straight to video. You guys are all jerks. What's wrong with me? I look exactly like you. Why am I not allowed to drink from those flowers? Hummingbird's gotta eat, man. Alright, let's see what these guys do. Hello, friends, bees, hornets. Ouch. That looked like a damage effect. Hmm. So, I'm pretty sure Nova Trade is based in Hungary, but I don't actually... I, I read an interview with Ed Annunziata that suggested he was American, so I don't know if he's Hungarian or not. Um, but, either way... Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> People make games all over the world. This frog is a problem. And unlike Echo, I'm not getting any hints of what to do from other hummingbirds. Maybe I need to communicate with them somehow. Um, hello, hello. Probably should have read the manual, huh? Well, you know, it's never too late to be a bad streamer. Let's go read the manual. Um, I don't have the manual, so I'm going to have to find one. Excellent. Gamesdatabase.org, very helpful website. Kill the frog. I don't even know how. I've got a sort of lunge attack. Maybe I could lunge from behind it. I'll give it a go while this loads. This frog! Yeah! 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 Oop. Okay, so frog seems oblivious. My A and B buttons seem to do absolutely nothing. And my C button gives me a little boost forward. Or in the direction that I'm holding, if I am holding. So that's not working. Colibri. Have a manual. Okay. Yeah, just like the Echo um, manual, 
This one has a section of facts about hummingbirds. That is awesome. I really like that. Okay. A special, B weapon, C burst. I don't think I have weapons or specials yet. I might be given them later. Earth's mightiest hero. Earth is a living organism. Each life form on Earth is a cell of the greater whole. Deep inside the planet, a mysterious ancient crystal hums, radiates and energizes Earth with its powerful life force. This is very reminiscent of Echo. I like this, this really fits. Calibri's world that's about to change. Drink from the orange flower. Okay, so the manual tells you how you start off. Oh, I should have known, it's just here without, it's not being guarded by any other hummingbirds. Ooh, things are taking a turn. Oh, oh, oh my. Ah, it's the ancient crystal. It's granted me powers through magical drops, I assume. So let's go. Warning signs. Oh, I changed color. What are these doing? They're changing my color. That's so cute. It's like Tricky the Triceratops. Let's be purple. No, wait, I want it to be purple. Um, it's so delightfully pointless. Unless it actually has an effect on something. A ring? Okay. This is so mysterious. <gasps> I slowed down, I think. The ring might be a shield. Ah, oh, bugs. Why are these bugs as big as me? Are they really hummingbirds this small? Don't know what that is. <laughs> I enjoy the mystery. Nice parallaxing background, nice um, graphical error with that tree maybe. So I might need to look for other flowers. Those flowers are all grey. They've been killed off by unseen evil forces. Possibly. Let's get another shield. That was one over here. Ah, no. Nope, I lost my shield already. So A and B still do nothing. Um, let's see if the manual has more to say on this. <laughs> Leaving home meadow. Oh. Calibri must destroy the mutated life forms that infest Earth. One of our smallest creatures has become her mightiest hope. But at what cost? Says the manual. Um, by the way, the Calibri is also a very small gun, apparently. Calibri is the root word for hummingbird in several European languages, according to Wikipedia. Uh, I can attack malignant insects with B. Blah, 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 ring shield, slow motion. Okay, so slow motion is supposed to be uh, a bonus for you. Uh, there's a two player mode. Oh, I won't be able to do that. Maybe I just need more bubbles. What's this bubble? I'm gonna keep trying. Oh! I was hitting the wrong button, of course, because I changed it last time I played Echo. I forgot all about it. Okay, so the different colors have different attacks. Whoa! This is crazy. They're all different and crazy. This is amazing. Oh, they're stacking up, are they? Wow. Whoa! Homing. Okay, I like homing. So once I defeat the um, insects that are causing damage to these flowers, then hummingbirds can move in and eat from them again. Wow, cool stuff. You know, I read that this was a shooter, but, you know. Ah. 
<laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Just, just how this game is. I read Shooter and I sort of wrote it off, but I mean, what did I expect from the creators of Echo the Dolphin? This is amazing. Homing laser looks amazing. Okay. So that might be an upgrade or something? Yeesh. I should probably read the manual more closely, but ain't nobody got time for that. It's much cooler if it's a complete mystery, right? I'm gonna look at these naughty insects. They've been corrupted by some kind of uh, something or other. Okay, slow motion is not as useful as it thinks it is on these early stages, I think. <laughs> yes, I, I wasn't expecting this either, given. Yeah. Um, super hummingbird. Yeah, like a small, cute flying machine gun. <laughs> that's me, that's Calibri. Calibri, whose name means hummingbird. What a like boring name for a hummingbird. Yes, rapid fire. I mean, it's exotic to us because we speak English, right? But I guess it wasn't too imaginative of his parents. Whoops, I assumed Calibri's gender. But then again, I didn't fully read the manual. background is beautiful, by the way. Ah! Here goes my shield. Nasty. Get out of here. Okay, so I do have some kind of health in that I go down levels of power up when I get hit. Although there's no exterior indication of that. Just how fast I can shoot, basically. There we go. Got a power up back, so I'm shooting a bit faster. Ta da! This is pretty great. Let's keep playing. Nah, I don't like the piece you got. Whoa, that's nasty. Let's try something else. How about that? Oh, I like that. Oh, frog. Apparently I can't hurt the frog. But it will hurt me, it'll eat me. Naughty ladybugs. I like the uh, sort of open world style shooter kind of thing that this has going on. It's very different, isn't it? Ow! Shots weren't even affecting it. Hmm. Ah, another frog. This is a dangerous world we live in, Colibri. Ow! Quit it! Okay, now I'm hitting you. Take that. Power me up. Laser? No, no! I wanted the laser. I think those moth things are just for flavor. Oops. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's cool. Everything's cool. I don't have, like, lives or anything, so nothing to worry about. Yeah. Give me that. No. Ah! Okay, get something else. Laser. I like the laser. Ah, so if you see nectar coming off a flower, you can drink from it and get a power up. Good to know. 
Get out of here, you gross insect. I don't like you. Whatever, can't get past that guy. Mm. I gotta go that way. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it does come to pursue at some point. Whoa, I don't know what that was, but I didn't like it. I get the feeling the enemies, the enemy insects are gonna get weirder and more alien as I go on. Which is cool. Oof. I mean, frogs aren't evil, it's just nature, right? But I think the insects are kind of evil. ecosystem, etc. Oh. oh, okay. That was a case of get to the end. I'm going to have a little, another quick look through the manual, just to see if I'm missing anything. Oh, there's instructions on how to set up a hummingbird feeder. Won't do me any good, we don't have hummingbirds in this country. Oh, speaking of which, there's a little map on um, sort of showing which areas of North and South America hummingbirds live in. Very interesting stuff. Um, the ancient crystal is a gift from afar. Aeons ago, deep in an unknown sector of the universe, a more highly evolved living planet exploded. The crystal with its mysterious life force was hurled into space. It rocketed toward Earth and buried itself deep in the planet's core. With this new energy, the young Earth began to breathe. The crystal was the heart that Earth needed to become alive. For millions of years, the crystal worked beneath Earth's crust, fueling evolution with its harmonious energies. A twin to the crystal had also been hurled into space. This dark crystal has been, had been irradiated by the massive planetary explosion. It spent its ages falling through the vastness of space, festering, pulsing, and swelling with infection. Finally, the malignant crystal sped earthward and crashed into the planet. Now, with room to spread, the dark crystal spewed its malignant force into the earth. Like the worst pestilence, the cancerous growth swiftly invaded nature. It devoured Earth's life forms, changing them into grey, diseased shadows. Each life form, each cell of Earth's being, became a cancerous growth. Starved of the ancient crystal's strength, nature's works of art sickened. Earth began to die. Deep underground, the Earth's crystal felt the death pangs. The engulfing disease moved swiftly, nearly obliterating the crystal's power. With its dying strength, the earth crystal burrowed to the surface. At that moment, Calibri the hummingbird flew by. Sensing pure life, the earth crystal infused the small bird with its strength. Calibri became the antibody empowered to combat the malignant evil. And yes, Calibri is male. Moving on. Oh, scrolling. Okay, this is more what I expected. Shooting. Whoa, okay. Yes. Pop, pop, pop. I like that. Ow! Okay, so if you pick up another one of the same type, it will upgrade it. I like this one, let's stick with it for now. Big area of effect. Since there's things coming in from the sides. That will help. Oops. Never mind. I like the creepy alien creature designs. This game is definitely in the Echo universe. All that crystal stuff fits right in with the asteroid and the glyphs and all that. Beautiful. Oh, 
so many of them. Eight explosions from my tiny hummingbird beak. I feel sorry for some of these insects, but some of them have clearly been corrupted by this evil crystal thing. Whoa. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Uh, sure. Got a thing. I think I'm going faster. Ah! Yeah, so unlike Echo, there's no text at any point telling you what to do or explaining things. Yeah, um, as far as I know, apart from this, this is sort of the only other Echo White game to come out of Nova Trade and Ed Annunziata. It's Echo 1, Echo 2, Echo Junior, then this. I didn't realize just how much it was going to remind me of Echo. There's wind coming from that way, I can't go that way. I want to like not shoot some of these aliens for a bit so I can look at them because they are creepy and cool. Aha! If I slow down time with this thing, maybe I can get through. Ah, I can't. <laughs> can I fire? Nope. Oh wait, I can use my boosty boost. Uh, nope, apparently I can't. Yes, I can! Ooh, here's something different. Chameleon. The natural enemy of the hummingbird? See, normally they just eat insects, but I guess the corruption is causing them to attack Calibri. Maybe, maybe they know what's up. They know what's coming. They know that Calibri is their enemy. Yeah, you know, psychic dolphins, hummingbirds with homing lasers, says Gibbon. I, I think it's, yeah, it's pretty similar. Champions of nature. How do I get through? There were stupid rock walls in Echo, too. Can you talk to any of the creatures, us? Um, Danger Mouse. Well, none of them are friendly to me really, outside of the hummingbirds that I saw in a few early stages. Um, and I wasn't able to talk to them with any of the button presses I was doing. And I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to these- Oh! Ouch. Yep, I got eaten by a chameleon. Did I say I did? Okay, so there's this thing. Hmm. They might say something mean. <laughs> no, I wasn't able to talk to anyone, fortunately. Um, okay, so that's hurting me, that's bad. Maybe by killing it, I can... Maybe it's making these barriers? Hey frog, help me out here. Taunting. Oh, it got me. Hmm, okay. This looks alien, right? This doesn't look natural. Hmm. Just took my shield away. Do you think the frogs and chameleons are corrupted or are they just looking for a meal? I feel like they don't normally eat hummingbirds, really. Ah! Okay, so those little glowy things I collected, I can use them as bombs. Okay. It was a matter of pressing the buttons, yes. Um, oh, I missed the name of this level. I guess it's not important. I like this weapon. I'll keep this one. Hmm. 
Oh, ah. Ah. Oops. Oh, I got a... I don't know what the swirly thing is. Um, there's so much that I don't understand. And it's kind of cool. Of course, I could read the manual more, but nobody wants that. Oh, it's gone. I think they were... That swirly thing that was surrounding me were like individual autonomous homing bolts. Mm, let's try another weapon. Next time I see one, I'll pick it up. It was the same one. <laughs> the soundtrack is subtle. I like it. to get that slide there. Infection. I don't like the sound of that. Give me this. Ow! Ah! Scary. Yeah, I want this. It's more homing. I don't have any of those special glowing orange things yet. Laser's fine. Yep. Nasty frogs. Okay, I haven't found any of those yet. Wow. Ah! Escaped. I think it was using my boost power. Yes, you got boost power. Ow! I was just button mashing, so I can't say for sure. Oh no. My weapon's getting worse. Ah. As I take damage. I did get a slowdown power. By the way, this isn't the hardware struggling to keep up. Presumably the 32X is capable of, you know, running games smoothly. Whoa! Could not handle the giant drop of whatever that was. Alien goo, perhaps? The backgrounds are beautiful, says Danger Mouse. She loves the cave scene, but the music is freaky. I don't like this weapon. Ow. Oh, okay, so when you get hurt, it does kind of show you how many, you know, what level of power up you have and how many hits you have remaining by the number of hummingbirds that sort of pop out of you. So I'm down to one. Oh, this is tough. Give me stuff, please. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, the bouncy one might be useful in this area. This one, no, not that. Ah, give me the bouncy. Okay, let's take that. Damn. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, we'll start and you'll do better this time. Give me something good. Ow. Damn. I've already screwed up. It's okay, we got this now, so we'll keep going with that. Ow. Please don't do that to me. Yeah, Gibbon says the 32X had great sprites. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I could name any other 32X games. Can you give me some examples of other ones that have good sprites? Um, actually, what was that one? Do, 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 do. Cody was talking about it because it was on the Saturn. Or was Tony talking about the other one? Um, Actually, that might not have been on 32X. I do get confused about some of Sega's consoles because, you know... In my region, or at least in my circles, they were never... Never, never that popular. They certainly lost out in that generation to Nintendo around here, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Alright, we're going to do better this time with our triple shot. Save there. Definitely want to keep this around. So, given mentions Chaotix, Knuckles Chaotix, an installment in the Sonic franchise on the 32X. I did see a Let's Play of that once, and it was, um, looked like a Sonic game, but I can, um, accept that it had more graphical sprite effects than the usual Sonic game. I can buy that. I don't remember being particularly impressed by it specifically, but... Just me. No great love for Sonic over here. Damn. I was doing so well. Okay, this is the big drop area. Damn! Bugger nuts. Maybe this way. This weapon is working well, except that it bounces off walls and the insects, some of them anyway, appear to be able to move through walls. Which seems kind of unfair. Damn. Give me that. That'll help me get through the big drop. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah. No. Yeah, that'll do. This is a good one. Good weapon, thank you. Never mind. Big drop, no. Ah, okay. Gotta hug that left wall, I think that should work. Yes. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, I think I got one. I better go back for more. Ooh. Ooh! Ed Annunziata. How dare you. Hazards. This is echo level difficulty. Alright, we got our bongs. Let's get all the way back up to that blockage. Go away. Man, Caligra needs all the help he can get. The 
path is not safe right now. Oops. Flew right into that drop. Oh, never mind. I'm right here. This is presumably the end. Ah, yes, good. Yes. Woot. Deep seeding. Go away. Let's die and we can get our stuff back. I assume that's how it works. There's really no way to know what level I'm at. Except by observation and estimation. How about that one? Nope. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Okay. That's a thing. I don't know what it is, but it did something. Oh, it made me speed up. I don't know what these do. Let's have a quick detour. I need a break. I'm going to quickly check the objects list. Milestones, so there's checkpoints, energy fields, yep, that's what I thought it was. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Mm, barriers, blah blah blah. Find the wall breaker pad. Huh. Oh, in two play mode, you can just revive each other, it's like a Rayman Origins kind of thing. Life pods. Yes, burst of small hummers, blah blah blah. Okay, that wasn't as helpful as I thought it would be. So I have this. But it kind of hints that you should save that for scrolling levels. Oop. Calibri is so fast and agile. I didn't have any bombs, so I wouldn't have been able to get through there anyway. I want that. Ah, lost it. give me charges for this thing, possibly. Okay, alright, so this weapon is something that I picked up before, but this effect persists even after you get a new weapon, so you charge it up by uh, pushing the fire button, but then it just passively makes a uh, ring of things that follow you and then home in on enemies. And there were just tons of giant drops there. <laughs> Gibbon says, this is pretty, but it's not the tightest shooter he's ever seen. Yeah, you're not wrong. But it's certainly doing something different than any other shooter I've seen. With its whole sort of open level structure. Different kinds of objectives. Quite exploration based. Life pod. Alright, I've got full life. That's good. Let's save here. So maybe these uh, things will let me get through the rock wall. Just like those other kinds of bombs that I found earlier. And there's only one way to find out. Go! Nope, didn't work. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. I haven't really seen anywhere else that I can go. Bugger off. Oh, here we go. This is new. And the creepy alien sperm are following me. Ah. Hmm. This 
kind of fascinating though, isn't it? Um, this one works well enough. Let's go with that. Oh, pfft. so that's a little cavern I found before. I can go back there. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Let's try and maintain a level of health. Saying that, I got hit again. So never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some. Okay, that's good. See, I did have this problem very occasionally in Echo where sometimes you can't tell whether an object is like part of the foreground, part of the background, you can go through it, you can't go through it. It's a little unclear at times. And you know, that's a way to hide secrets, sure. But it can also be an obstruction to progression. stuff. This must be all there is to this level. They kind of have a similar vibe and structure to echo levels. I feel like I oh, <laughs> I feel like I can get a feel for how things might be laid out from being familiar with those games. Go, go, go. No, there's more. I have to get through more. Mm, I'd better save. Okay. Oh, beautiful. It's a kind of savanna. And it's a scroller. So with this weapon I can focus on maneuvering because it does all the aiming and shooting itself without any input from me. Now you can see different kinds of life forms popping up here with those evil looking mushrooms. the influence of the dark crystal on the earth. Fascinating stuff. It's much more of an insidious threat than the vortex, although in Echo 2 the vortex did start to develop new kinds of forms and would sort of make their own versions of uh, earth creatures. Sort of. Can I say sort of too many times? I'm Australian. I'm gonna blame that. Sure. Ah, get away. Nasty thing. Ah, the pea shooter. Yeah, I like this. I like this weapon. So this one's not auto scrolling, but it is pretty straightforward. Left to right kind of thing. Oop! I don't like you. I don't like you. Okay. Laser. Nope. Ah, it can be hard to hold on to a power up you want. Woo. Okay, just be careful. Nope, wasn't being careful enough. Wow. That was pretty uh, sick looking. I like, there's a, you know, there's a lot of variety in the insect um, uh, kingdom, insects, what are insects, is that a phylum, a genus, I have no idea, it's been way too long since I studied biology, but anyway, insects, there's a lot of them and lots of different types, so it can make for some good variety in, 
in the appearance of the enemies. But then they also throw in the evil alien type mutated stuff, which makes it even more interesting. I like that. And now we have evil flowers too, apparently. A lot of the weapons home in, which is actually good, especially with the kinds of level design on show here. It's not always just left to right. Okay, so this thing seems invulnerable, but it also seems very evil. It reminds me of the slivers from Magic the Gathering, if you have any idea what I'm talking about. That little sickle limb at the front. <laughs> Not a huge fan of anthills, eh? Did you have a bad anthill experience? Uh, I don't want this. Am I just supposed to be following this or what? Oops. My rate of fire is slowed down to a crawl. Maybe I can just cheese through everything by boosting. Oh, oh, I see. I don't want to go through there, I'm guessing, but let's try it. Yep, can't go through. So I assume I'm waiting for this thing to come on. Ouch. Maybe if I just wait here, it will happen along. Oh, I don't have a fast forward button step, uh, set up. Oh, bad experience with an anthill. Wow, sorry. Sorry to trigger you with this game. Didn't know that would come up, otherwise I would have put a warning. Except I didn't know you had a problem with that either. Come on, Spiky. Ah! Come on now. That hardly seemed fair. Alright, let's start again. Now I know what I'm doing. Um. Or do I know what I'm doing? It's kind of an assumption. Man, we started with so many people today, but we're down to just two. I think everyone left after that. We missed some nuts. Disaster. Did I mention that on this stream yet? I tried to play Mr. Nuts 2 earlier and had some horrendous technical problems. I mean, they weren't horrendous at first. Just the game crashing a couple of times. So I tried another ROM and it crashed again. Big disappointment. So I need to work that out and we'll play Mr. Nuts 2 later. I announced Mr. Nuts 2, but I couldn't deliver. Okay, okay. Sneak into the evil alien anthill. Cold entrance. Expect to see a lot more mutant stuff in here. Bombs so early. Good. Oh man. Nope, this one's good. Keep going. Damn. I don't like this one. Hello! Brutal. Oh, I see. See, this is Echo Like too. Sonaring a, uh, an environmental object into a rock wall to get rid of it. Except now it's gone. Oh, it's back. Okay. And then they shake and then they blow up. Very Echo. Whoa. Damn, everything's so evil around here. Yeah, those guys were diehard not fans, and I disappointed them. Not really. They were just looky loos. You guys are the true faithful. Of course, my brother also told me that he was 
watching the other day, but just not in chat, so I didn't even know he was here, so... Oh, I know. Could be thousands. Whoa, that was a physics glitch. Mm. Man, that is so evil. I love the twisted designs. Ooh, faithful. Dark cavity, gross. Lude. Whoa. Okay, that was no. That was no insect. That was an arachnid. Oh, I mean, we've seen spiders already, but... Case in point. The music's gotten a bit more... action-y. I mean... So that evil alien nectar... It's not good for me. <laughs> yeah. Danger Mouse had an ill child. Had to pick him up. Nose. Wait, why did Gibbon say nose? Oops. Who had a nose? The nose nose. Whatever. <laughs> How can honey be evil? Good question. I think honey can be evil. It's not necessarily always good. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I got some bombs, now I need to take them back somewhere. But avoid the honey, which drips through these platforms. Clever. Yeah. Good. Get some of the same power ups multiple times and they get upgraded. Oop! Yeah, okay. We're right there. We got this. I still don't know what these bubbles do, but we're gonna get them anyway. Evil honey. Okay. Dark obstruction. I really do like the look of the scan. Okay, that looks like a dark obstruction. Oops. Huh. Fine. Fine. Not sure how much health we come back with after something like that. Oh. <laughs> a lizard and a bat, what's up with that? I like that there have been no sign of mammals so far. Just birds and insects and arachnids. Aliens. Oh, a checkpoint. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, I guess I got it. Hmm. Alright, I'm thinking we want to take this down, but unlike Echo, it's a bit harder to be precise. Oh, no, I blew it up. Huh. But I have to 
checkpoint. Wow. Look at him scurrying around. Okay, so there's this thing. Oh, okay, that's what I needed. So the answer is right there, and now I have to get something in here to take down there, I'm guessing. Something like the yellow bombs. No? What's that? That one. I want that one. Go. Box. Gimme. I am the world's mightiest hummingbird. I'll have justice. Never mind. I'm not gonna find justice in there. Wah! Creepy realistic scorpion. I like the realism. Makes the aliens creatures seem even more scarier. Oh, what did I just say? Even more scarier. What am I, five years old? No, yes. Give me checkpoints. Good. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Let's go. Oh no, Calibri. Don't get honeyed. You know what that does to your complexion. Ow. See, the problem with honey is it gets stuck in your feathers, and then you can't flap, and you just fall down, and you're stuck, and you can't fly anymore. And flying is a hummingbird's life. Man. Can't tie them down. Except with honey. That's why they don't like it. Hope I've explained this concept to everyone now. Exploration. Caves. Spelunking. Didn't expect that from a hummingbird. Ooh, that's spooky. What is that? Oh! It's a killing string. That's a thing. Um, what was that? Yeah, you. Come over here. This way. Now down. I want these even though I don't know what they are. Oh, that hurts me. Okay. I'll let you go and do that over there. Thank you. Oh, there's more. Well, considering I still don't know what they do, I think they might be this weapon, but I can't be sure. Ah. Bombs. Get the bombs, come back. Oh, shield. Shield, shield, shield. Man, you know, when I played Echo games, I wish I'd played this game earlier. Because I really liked Echoes. The Dolphin. All that, all that stuff. Everything except Defender of the Future because, well, one, I had no way to play it, two, it's kind of a different thing. Oh, the wind! Curses! Hmm. That's something of an impasse. Impasse? Oh, I wonder if I can get through here with some clever flying. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. I think I can do it. I think it's doable. And I think it's doable with slow motion. Danger Mouse says she likes how five year old kids talk. <laughs> My favorite phrase at the moment is saying they rhyme the same. She says it's annoyingly inaccurate but cute anyway. I wonder if I lost a health point for that. Ooh, it made a little hummingbird shaped insignia on that crystal. Oh, this is Asterite. Look at this Asterite crap. I gotta fly through this, I'm sure of it. There was a bit of echo too, like that. Pow! And these are just like the, you know, the ice cubes or 
the um, moving, what were they, like urchins or, I don't know, they were just these obstructions in some corridors, just like that. Just a physical obstruction and if you run into them you die. Or if they crush you into a wall, which was annoyingly common, all too easy to fall into that trap. Okay. Lost my shield and I've only got one hit point. Okay, that's good. I do have a checkpoint, but. Mm, I've made progress since then. Okay, so that's the wind tunnel that takes me back down. So it's an easy way out after I get whatever I'm coming for up here. Presumably bombs. So annoying. Lasers, that's fine. Ah, oh, I've got a shield only to lose it, but at least I have an upgrade. And I've lost that too. This game's tough. Ah, oh, shields, bombs. Good. Alright, so that's where I need to go. I'll come back here. So many bombs! Nope. I've got eaten again. Obviously. Okay. We're good. Take the bombs we need and get the heck out of here. Except. Curious. Yep, that does hurt me. Um. Oh. It's currently 2.30. PM Australian time. Oh, I can't go up through this. I can only go down through this. I wonder what's up there. Okay, we go back through that wind tunnel we saw earlier. Damn. Had a good thing going there with that triple upgraded thing. Let's see if we can. Yep. There we go. That'll help. <laughs> Screw you. Oh yeah, we do actually have three time zones. Western Australia is three hours behind us. And those peasants in Adelaide are half an hour behind for some weird reason. I'm just staring Danger Mouse because that's where she was from. And then of course Queensland doesn't do daylight savings, so even though they're in the same time zone, their time might be different to ours. Which is East Coast by the way, AEDT, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Yes. Okay, so I have the bombs which means I can go this way. I lost my shield, which is very bad. Yeah, reload. Get out of my way. Okay. okay. They have a pattern. They definitely have a pattern. Finally! To the light. Danger Man says the deadly plants are unfair. Deadliness should be limited to sentient creatures. Okay, at least we don't need to hunt for bombs now because we have some. Give me that. 
Now, give me... no, give me that. Yes, that's good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I ran right into that. I'm going to have to backtrack the bombs. That would be a cruel, cruel trick. Hey! What gives? I was going to say, those um, um, blobs that I just saw briefly remind me of the logo from the very beginning of the game, the Amoeba logo. I don't know if they were a company that co-developed the game or something. Ah, I'm out of bombs. Darn. Um. <laughs> yeah, Rataladians apparently have a time zone of their own because they're in cool olden day they're in a cool olden days world of their own. And so they can text Danger Mouse annoyingly late at night. It's only half an hour difference, isn't it? Or is it more than that? But yeah, they're they're pretty cool I guess. They seem to think so. Shield. Thank you, game designers. Whoa. This hive is out to get me. I mean, in case you didn't know already. <clears throat> okay, so these little insects, they're gonna chase me until I get to that barrier, it looks like. Hey, you were supposed to stop at the barrier, you little jerks. I guess I gotta get to the barrier quicker and then it stops them. Or they just fall incessantly off the bottom of the screen. Okay. Yep, that worked. Alright. So that's the trick to this section. Yes, game physics. <laughs> Half an hour is huge when you've got a newborn, she says. Fair enough. I have not been there. Well, I am going to be an uncle soon. That was exciting news. Never been an uncle before. No, get away. You guys are so evil. That's what I say to babies, by the way. No. Okay, they can be killed, but that's the end of the game. End of the stage, sorry. I misspoke. Maybe it was wishful thinking. Oh. They have homing shots too, and nasty ones. Yeah, this widespread's gonna work better in the scrolling level like this. Sit back here and just hold the button. Easy peasy. Yeah. I really do like the designs of the creatures. Spooky. They're creepy and they're spooky. They're 
altogether ooky. And a little kooky. Adam's family values. Oh, I don't like that sound. I thought it was a boss fight sound, but that was wrong. Uh, stalactites. Stalactites um, hang from the ceiling. And they're holding on tight, so they don't fall off. And they're spelled... Uh, S-T-A-L-A-C-T-I-T-E So you're kind of way off, but that's okay. I forgive you. See, this is the kind of thing I expect when I hear Hummingbird shoot a game. I didn't realize there would be all those... maze exploration levels. Well, that, that wasn't even a maze, it was more like a gauntlet. More like just ugh, tunnels, caves, etc. Did I just go back a level? I don't know. Anyway, um, I want to point out that we saw some ruins back there that look like kind of South American, uh, you know, pyramidal structures and so on. You can see some head, statue head kind of things. Um, there is actually no kind of evidence of human structures or activity in the Echo games, except obviously for Atlantis. And the glyphs also say that they were made by Atlanteans, so assume Atlanteans are human and that when you actually visit Atlantis, that's them, but... Ah, ooh. But, you know, apart from that, um, just to point out that in those games, um, the kind of environments you go through are either very naturalistic or alien, um, very explicitly alien in origin. But here we have human stuff. I wonder how many levels are in this game. Yeah, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time, you know. Do I respawn with more than one hit? Please tell me I do. I don't. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, the parallels are there. Calibri, just like Echo, is a, just a normal animal who gets granted mystical powers by like, you know, weird crystals and objects of otherworldly origin, mysteries of nature. Although this game seems a bit more upfront in the manual about how the crystals came from space and stuff. Penetration. Golly. Didn't expect that kind of thing in this game. And now we have snakes, apparently. And this creepy guy again. Okay, I want to follow him. But the spiky alien jumping jacks. Didn't expect that. Maybe there's more... Hmm... So here's some 
Donkey Kong Country style ruins. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Real quick, just set up a controller thing so I can. Because apparently a 32x is completely different from, you know, a Mega Drive, apparently. So I needed that spiky bomb dude to come back here. Oh, they're just spawning there. Gross. Oops. Where'd that come from? Alright, so what I need to do is bring that spiky bomb over without killing it. No! This kid dies too easily. At least the snakes are gone now. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. No, oh, it's still. Hmm. Maybe I need to be weaker. I'll get another weapon. Um, a laser. That'll do. No. Huh. So. Don't hit the spikes, but hit the orange bit. Okay, that works. Hmm. Oh, yep, death. Death by bombs. What were those? Um, what were what? <laughs> Do you mean the jumping jacks? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh. Wow. Yes, um, everyone always says my sneezes are uh, very impressive. <clears throat> okay. I think I know how this works, but. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, damn. This is really tricky. Okay, so I have to not hit the spikes. I'm sure of it now. The problem is my homing shots will go towards them. I just have to time it better. Better than that. Damn. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hmm. many shots there that seems okay that's a shorter time of shooting so that might help. but every shot those spikes take brings them close to death so you like that yeah okay we're gonna do this Where to go? Where to go? Okay, it's here. Ah. Okay, now we do want it to blow up, and I just can't get it to. Ah. No. Yes. Finally. Okay. Whew. Cool. That was tedious. Now let's get on with the level. Once again, we're going to follow this guy. Kill some snakes. Good. Wow. Yeah. Um, things like that in Echo. Didn't like them. They still don't like them. That was weird. Is that supposed to be an ancient Mayan mechanism? Or have the aliens developed something <laughs> that looks like a robotic arm? 
Make your own head cannons, folks. Oof. That thing is uh, surprisingly accurate. And I'm so low on hit points. I wish I got more and hung onto them. Because they're getting very, very few and far between at this stage of the game. What should I get? Let's try the laser for a bit. Too bad. I'll just hang on to this then. We're getting to the rapid save stating part of the stream, apparently. I should play more games that don't require that kind of Cheesy gameplay. Damn it! I just can't help it. Calibri is so beautiful. Okay, stupid arm! Arms suck, and any game that has arms doesn't deserve to be played. See what I did there. No. How can I acquire bombs at this stage? Did I miss them back up there? Are they down here? Okay, they're down here. Yes, shield me. Good. See, honey, I don't like it. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, imagine playing this on real hardware. You're a kid, you just got your brand new Sega 32X. There are two games available for it. And you gotta struggle through this. Poor chillins. I like this music. Checkpoint. Nope, don't want to go that way. That takes me back. This is kind of Echo 2. Where do I want to take this? I'm not going to be able to get through those arms. Arms. Who would play a game with arms? <laughs> yes, poor hypothetical child. It's the same with Echo the Dolphin though. I love those games, but playing them properly <laughs> without the crazy save saving that I always do apparently. I just don't think I could do it. Too unfair. Bouncing will work well in the corridors. No, never mind, I'm at the end. <sighs> yeah, I think they look pretty gross. Remission. Some evocative names of these levels. Ooh. Ow. No, I need that life up. I need it. It's so bad. Okay, avoid that. Hit by that. Whoa, okay, those things are hatching into insects. That never happened before. Ah. Get 
a little bit vortex spawn this thing. Hey, there's another one. Keep it moving, blobby. Don't want none of your blobs all up in my stuff. Oops. Good. Consistent way to get power ups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I this is the this weapon is the last thing I need in this level. Um yes, much better. Also fine. Okay. Ah get away. You nasty creatures. You gave me a bad power up and you took my shield. Last chance. No. I lost my life up. Uh, yeah, go back. I need I need that life up, dude. You have no idea how much I need it. I need it. I need it. Reminds me of that thing in Super Nintendo. Do you mean... It, it does remind me of something, but I, I can't put my finger on what exactly. Do you mean like Super Metroid? Because you said Super Nintendo. Unless you mean uh, the Toy Story game on the Super Nintendo. Which I mentioned for no reason. Damn it. <sighs> okay, don't get frustrated. You're better than this game. This game's not the boss of you. Ooh, power up. Okay, so there was a wall up there that I need bombs for. Whoa, so many! Oh, yes! Do you see all those hummingbirds? I'm in the money now. It's great. I could have balanced this better with the power ups. None of them came along for so long, and now I just get a ton. Up or left? Let's go left. Caterpillars. Aha! That's what I needed. That can't hurt either, although I'm not really using them. Up or right? Or left? Ah, too many ways. It's just like a way to get shields. Yep. And I got him. I saw you. I know what's going to happen here. Oh, crap. It's like a golf ball or something. Wish to a hummingbird is deadly, apparently. Oh, made it. Hey, all my bombs went away. Good. At least I think that's what I saw. Whoa! I got snake bit, dude. Um, my worst enemy for this game. Apparently. Shield. My best friend. Yep, they took my bombs away, so I need to get more. Whoa. 
Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I feel like it's a trap, but there might also be a way... Yep, okay. So I swooped in, I got the thing, and then I left by using the charge move to get through the barrier. But I might actually be at maximum hummingbirds right now, so... Don't know if that really did anything. Now, where was that? Back here. Been up. Oh, yeah, this place is huge. Like my biceps. There's your Simpsons quote of the day. That was a big circle. There were other paths out there, but I'm not going to take them. I'm going to go to the wall. Things are good. Things are looking up. They took them away again, jerks. Okay, again we have the sliver and we'll follow behind it. I fell too far behind. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he saw me. No way, dude, you ain't got me. Come on. Master of Stealth, the Ninja Hummingbird. Slow motion should help with this arm. Good. Everything's fine. Oh, hey, Tito. Have you been here the whole time? place is huge, that's what he said? I don't know, what he said about a place though? Okay. Wait. Where are you going? Did you just go in a big circle? You ass hat. Get out of my property. I own this temple now. Damn it. Yes. What's going on? Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? I'm lost. I'm so confused. Okay, okay. That's good. We'll go this way. I've been, I've been here before. Yes, I've been here. Oh, this has gotten super confusing. I'm taking tons of damage, but... Oof. Beyond caring. Ah, damn you arm! No! Oh, I see the bombs. I see him. Okay, that's fine. No, it's not even here. Oh, gee whiz. 
Okay. Um, what do I do now? This place is enormous and I have no idea where to go. Okay, so the place I got to was up from around there. And I could see bombs further to the right. So if I let's go this way and see where I end up. You know, there's no sound when your shield gets hit. I wish there was. Oh, okay. <sighs> no. This way, this way. Must be. So if I go up there, but what if I go... No, wait, no! Shields over here. Okay, so I'll go save and I'll go this way. Oh, this is here. No, I don't want that. That'll do. Ah, oh, and I can't even go back there. Here. All right, okay. I'm starting to get a feel for this area, but it's still quite confusing. Look at this maps online. I'll be straight back. Calibri map. Hmm, not quite what I expected. I think Calibri is also the name of the place. Yeah, that didn't help. But the good news is, there's only five more levels in the game. So we get through this. This is like the machine. This is the, this is the true testing area, the end of the game. The machine, of course, being the last level of Echo 1. Okay, have I been over here? This game is evil. I think I've decided. Maybe it's just that Ed Annunziata is evil. You know what, Bugs? Screw you. I never liked you. I'm going to kill you. I don't even care if you're possessed by an evil alien crystal. was a small sound effect when I lost my shield just now. Uh, okay, that's a whole, that's a dead end. All that area over there is a dead end. Let's go this way. And then this way. Uh -huh. No, not that way. Okay, that's promising. The checkpoint. Winds up. Whoops, I missed the wind up. Yeah, I don't want that. I want my health. I want all of it. Yes. Expert level play. Okay, have I been here? I think I have. And then I didn't survive the experience, so. It's gonna be much better this time. Everything will be fine. No problems. Nothing to worry about. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, so we're here. But we don't actually want to be here, do we? Because the bombs are up. So we'll load. <laughs> there wasn't another way through here, was there? No, I get through there to get up here to get to that. 
but what I need is over there. Okay. So from here, I have to go back this way. Isn't that this way? No. Nope. Man, this game, what am I going to do with you? So close to the end. I really, really want to finish this game. I want to do it today. Okay, it's got to be over here. Yes, I know this place. Yes! Now with my limited health, I'm going to speed run my way back over there. this far. I have no idea how much health I have, but I'm going to save anyway. Just screw it. Die. Die. Good. No. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. Nope. That's bad. Okay, I can do that better. That was worse. Okay. Ooh, that's worse too. Better. Bad. Good. Bad. Better. Bad. <sighs> okay, don't shoot those. You're scary. Nope. Damn. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't freaking worry about it. I think I used my bombs there, which might be bad. Accidentally, I used them. I don't know. Can we please be done with this level soon? Okay, I'm saving. Oh, checkpoint. Okay. Yes. Yes. Music changed. I think we might finally have a boss fight. Whoa, that's different. Whoa. That's very dangerous. Cool. All right. Uh, yes, given admiring the background. Um, Danger Mouse disagreeing with the assessment of evil. But admitting that it might be there. So we need to watch out for the yellow things, basically. Whoa! Maybe get a better weapon that has better coverage to protect against them. Or oh, maybe this one's good enough. Oh, it's doing okay. All right, I took one out. Great. Yeah. Confidence. Oh. I think I did it the hard way. All right. So that was that layer. How many more layers? What's up next? Ooh. Whoa! 
Okay, that's creepy. It's got its own evil hummingbirds on tentacles. Oh, I did quick work of it though. Oh, there's another one. This is scary. I'm scared. It's spawning insects. It's... Ooh, okay. Oh my, that was emotional. What a journey. Oh. Oh. Hummingbirds are free. No! Oh. Congratulations, you saved the world. So that was the last level? Did I misread this thing? Uh, there might be an Echo 2 style ending and then extra levels after. I could see that happening. But, well, as far as the game's concerned, I just completed it. Oh, wow, no wonder that level was so hard. Um, that really was the machine. Was it worse than the machine? Well, the machine, you had one hit that killed you and sent you back to the start of an extremely long auto score. At least this had checkpoints. They did add checkpoints in the Japanese version of Echo. Um, to the machine, there's three checkpoints. Um, oh, I'm beaten down, I'm worn down, worn out. But wow, what a game. Um, yeah, this really um, slots into the Echo kind of oeuvre quite nicely and I'm glad I played it. But wow. They, they didn't learn their lessons, did they? I mean, they made Echo Jr. And that was like super easy. Um, I guess they wanted to go back and do another hard game after. They obviously had a different target audience in mind with that game and it wasn't an indication of the direction of the series. It was an indication that they wanted to do something different and then go back to making an incredibly <laughs> punishing game. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see all the people to blame on the left side of the screen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the visual design in this game, very impressive, very uh, moody. I like the music, um, the concept, enjoyable. Uh, oh, I just, yeah, I hope I wasn't too, you know, Frustrating to watch for all you viewers. All three of you, or however many. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, there might be extra levels after this, so I'm going through this post amble, but um, we might have more to do after this. And it did start a bit late, so that I think. We're okay with the time. Yeah. <laughs> Not frustrating at all, entertaining, sustaining. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. What does the other kid with his head in the bucket think? Thanks for playing Colibri. <laughs> it's only frustrating if I have to do it, she says. There is something to that, to be sure. Ooh. Alrighty. So I freed all the hummingbirds, and the alien menace is gone. Oh, that's the end. Okay. It's probably, because there are extra levels I can see on this uh, cheat sheet right here, but it might be the case that uh, you only get them if you're on like normal or hard mode. Can you believe that was easy mode? Seriously. Unbelievable. Options, yeah. Oof. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think bird speed being faster would be any better. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that level was called remission, right? Penetration, planes, infection. Hang on, these aren't in order. These are in alphabetical order. Damn, sorry about that. I was completely misled right there. Stupid cheap sh cheat sheet. 
Um, go into this guide real quick. Extraction, remission. Oh yeah, okay, that was the end. Um, there aren't any more levels, so I'm glad I got the post amble out of the way. Thanks very much for watching. Um, next week for sure will definitely be um, uh, Mr. Nuts 2. Hopefully. But yeah, that's it for now. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.